What I want to talk to you about here today is using Zoom with your friends and family. You might have some of them that uh, lose the meeting invite and you have to call them at the time to remind them or maybe resend it. Well, wouldn't it be nice if there was a way, such as you have in FaceTime or Google Duo, where you could have an instant meeting with a notification? Well, let me tell you, there is a way with Zoom if you want to do that. Now, as you know, you only have to have the app to use Zoom. You don't have to have an account. You, you can have a free account, but you don't have to really have one to use Zoom to join in meetings. So let me show you one of the benefits of having a Zoom account, and that is that you can then do instant meetings with a contact, using a contact and get notification. The first one I want to show you this working on is a Fire Tablet. This is one of my favorites uh, for seniors because it has wireless charging. So as I dock it, it'll charge. But let me show you what happens here with Zoom. So nothing's running in the background here. I've only logged into Zoom after reboot. Now I'm going to start a meeting and I'm going to participants invite be sure you use zoom contacts found that one and invite you can see what I get it's a lot better than I'll just a little uh, email to go find so let me just finish it out here for you and I'm gonna join with video can't find a way to automate that then of course on the host side, you see the meeting. Again, so that's with, um, I think it's running about Android 7. It's older for Fire tablets. But that's the first one. I have a couple of others to show you. This is uh, Samsung uh, Tab A 8.4 running Android 10. And let me show you what Zoom instant meeting, pop-up meeting, as I like to call it, looks like there. I'm going to go into Zoom, and I'm going to start a meeting, and just like before, participants, when you go to invite, be sure you do contacts. Choose your contact, one or more, invite, and that's what your loved one would see. Pretty nice. Get their attention. They accept, and then of course they have to click the join with video, and then get admitted, and of course there it is. Again, this was is Android 10 on a more recent tablet. Okay, this is um, Apple iPad Mini. Uh, version 2 it's an older one so the iOS is only up to 12.5 so you'll notice there's a little difference with this so let me make a call here and start a meeting and again let's go participants invite be sure you use contacts find your contact invite Now you notice, I'm not getting the big pop-up. I just get the little notification. And then, follow through the same way, and admit, and there it is. Let me get that mic off. Another mic here. Okay, so it's not quite as nice, but it does go in there and it does give you notification. In, in my write-up that I'll put a link to, I'll tell you how to make the notifications uh, repeat. It's basically making the banner uh, persistent. So um, I'm also going to show you an iPhone with a later version of iOS on it. I can't update the iOS on this one. This time I want to show you a later version of iOS 14.4.1 running on my iPhone 7. Zoom. 
new meeting, start a meeting, wait for participants to come up, invite, Zoom contacts, and this is calling my phone. Zoom video. Nice noise. I'm going to join the meeting, admit, and close this so I can see it. Turn off the mics. Ah, okay, so you can see it's a little nicer where the later version of iOS. Also had my sister try it on the later iPad and iPad Pro with this version of software and it works fine. So just my iPad mini uh, is kind of old and I can't upgrade to iOS. It still gives you notifications, just not as big and bold. So I've showed you all the systems I tried this on. I tried it on a Windows 10 system, works there on a MacBook. Um, so it's really a nice way to get an instant meeting in Zoom with a notification uh, for those who have trouble finding the links that you sent in Zoom. And you can invite multiple contacts.